Okay, hey guys, so we're going to what if Rant was good. Now, if I'm perfect right, if Rant was a good guy, I'd say that he probably would be, he'll probably have a good reason. Now, let's say that during the time after, you know, Vegeta, Nappa, and Raditz were, like, you know, doing their job, Raditz was going to make, going to walk around, but suddenly, he heard a sound. He heard the Doria, Zarbon, and a pool make it laughing about how Frieza destroyed Plant Vegeta. Raditz was surprised that Frieza destroyed Plant Vegeta, and then, so Zarbon, the Doria, Said, Zor I mean, Zorban said, Hey, oh my. Wait, why am I doing that? Anyways, Zorban was like, Well, you know, saying, Check the scouters. I believe a sand hurt us. And Dora was like, Who? R the weakling Raditz, is what Zorban says. And then the Doria looked outside, and Raditz was scared, so he ran away. You know, because, well, let's be real here. Raditz ain't a coward, but he doesn't want to die, so. He escapes, so he tried to go find, like, Goku, I mean, Vegeta, and Nappa, and tell them that Zarbon and Doria, Frieza destroyed Plant Vegeta, and Vegeta and Nappa didn't believe him, so they said that he was crazy. So, after Raditz went look, looking around, he just said, he, he just started, you know, sending his pace bot to Earth, the plant his brother was sent to. Then, he... He found his brother, Kakarot. Well, before, like, you know, no, no, that's not right. I mean, is in a few years, Goku is like, well, you know, too busy, like, showing them his son, while Raditz is on his way to Earth. While, Ra while Goku is talking to, uh, you know, Boma, Krillin, Master Roshi, Goku senses Pegolo. Piccolo says that, starts saying that, well, hmm, so that's your son. How about I kill him? And after a few years, Rat's space pod lands on Master Roshi's island. And if you're wondering where it lands, probably on Master Roshi's roof. Anyways, while Raditz is looking around, he sees his brother Kakarot. And he sees that he's... Try, he sees someone trying to mess with them, so Raditz helps him. Anyways, while Raditz fights Piccolo, Piccolo senses a really high power, while Goku senses him too. And Goku thought that he was a villain, but Raditz saves Goku. And then Raditz, Goku says, who are you? And then Raditz says, I am your brother, Raditz. Your name is Kakarot. Huh? And Goku didn't know that his, he had a brother. And Gohan meets him, and he seems to, he didn't know he had an uncle. He says, so you're uh, Uncle Raditz. Um, hi, uncle. That's what Gohan says. So after Raditz, after Raditz comes, he, he comes, come, comes to Earth. After the whole, you know, Piccolo thing, he, after fighting, you know. Raditz is interrupted by Piccolo. And then he, like, you know, says, Hey, we're in the middle of something. Wait, did he fight? Oh, never mind. I might have got stuff mixed up, so you can guys fix it and like fix my video and stuff. Sorry if I messed up. Anyways, Rats like you know fights Piccolo, and somehow they're evenly matched. Anyways, Rats doesn't seem to have trouble against Piccolo with Goku on his side. So after Go Goku and Raditz and Piccolo decide to go on a different island, while Bulma. Krillin and Master Roshi take care of Gohan. They don't know about Gohan's potential, so he probably hasn't gotten a rage boost yet. So anyway, while Raz and Goku and Piccolo are flying to an island, like, you know, similar to Frieza, it's like, you know, going to an island like Piccolo. Hey, how Excuse me. Anyways, while they're on the island, they decide to, like, go to the desert and, like, you know, they fight Peck they fight Pe Rats and Goku both fight Piccolo two on one. Well Rats lets Goku fight Piccolo first since that, you know, Pe Goku and Peckle had a rivalry before, you know, the Cheetah thing. Anyway, so while Goku was fighting Rats, I mean Peckle, sorry, Rats started waiting for <laughs> Goku had trouble with Peckle since they're at the same level. And then 
the, Goku seemed to use his strongest attack, the Kamehameha, on Piccolo, while Piccolo used the special beam cannon he created. So after Piccolo used the special beam cannon in a beam clash, it was like a really powerful beam clash. So Goku was about to lose, but luckily Riot's came in by using his double Sunday, and it boosted the attack damage. So after, you know, they defeated Piccolo, Piccolo was badly damaged, and Raditz was about to kill him. But Goku said, stop Raditz. He's, he's weak enough. And then Raditz, like, you know, the stops. So, after Raditz and Goku defeated uh, Piccolo, Raditz and Goku go to, go to Bo Master Roshi's place and tell him that Ra Piccolo was defeated and he's he won't be a problem. And then Raditz is, uh, starts talking to, about Goku, you know, and tells him about the same race. And the fact that they fought. They found out that his boss destroyed the entire race, and Goku was shocked that his entire fam one of the race family members are defeated that easily. And then he said that the other Su Saiyans, Vegeta and Nappa, didn't believe him. So, Raz decides to train with Goku, and this involves a whole lot of changes. Goku learns like one of Raz's techniques: the Double Sunday and Saturday Crash. And weekend and made his own. Like Goku will make a double Kamehameha, where Rats has the Kamehameha of his, you know, just for fun. Plus, Goku with the double Kamehameha would be pretty cool, anyways. You know, I'm just saying, but just my favorite character, but you know, you. anyways. Back to the video. It's also, Rats will also gain a huge power boost with Goku. Plus, Krillin and Tien and Yamcha get a power boost as well. I would say Krillin's stronger than Tien and Yamcha. Yamcha's at like. 3,000, Raditz is at like um, 7,000, and Goku's at 10,000. Also, Master Roshi's going to join the fight of the Saiyans after the training. And Master Roshi's going to be training with um, Raditz, Goku, and Piccolo real, uh, trains by himself and, and secretly stays hidden. So anyways, after like, you know, after the training for a year, Pecola, I mean, Nappa and Vegeta come to Earth with a, with a lot of strength, and they check the power levels of, like, you know, of the same, uh, and they sit, realize that Rats learned to hit, hit hide his power, and somehow, Nappa, Vegeta, let's say this, okay, Rats versus Vegeta happens, I mean, Rats versus Nappa, my mistake, Rats fights Nappa, and Rats, Fights gives Nappa a really hard time and messes with them, but luckily, but but a uh, surprise, Nappa like fires a giant energy blast from his mouth, and Rats has to, like deflect it and kick it up in the air so it won't destroy the planet. So after N Rats deflects the energy blast, Nappa uh, blasted at him. Nappa used like a dot attacked him real fast, and somehow Rats knew where he was. So instead of like you know. You know, whole, you know, late night rides die real fast. Somehow, Nappa sent the Cybermen, had more Cybermen, also gave, let's just say this, okay. I forgot about the Cybermen. So, anyways, the reason why there's no Cybermen is because, well, the Z Fighters include Yamcha, Master Roshi, Krillin, and pretty much um, Chaozu and Tien. They took all care, care of the Cybermen because I didn't want to explain too much about the Cybermen, but if you want me to explain some more stuff, Oh, just leaving the description below. Also, Raditz actually um, uh, uh, fires his double Sunday at you know Nappa and vaporizes him. After Raditz defeated Nappa, it's Vegeta versus Go Goku versus Vegeta. So Goku and Vegeta both fight at the same time. <sighs> Instead of like you know Goku like uh, wasting time, Goku goes Kyle Ken times. Um, 10, yeah. Goku was tired to them saying he's used to it. And they're, Vegeta and Goku were at the same level. After Vegeta, like, took down Go Goku and Vegeta at the same fight, thing style, they both, like, you know, have a hard time with each other. They both, Goku fires his Kamehameha, while Vegeta fires his Gally Gun. It's a beam struggle where Vegeta tried uh, blasting it real hard, but somehow it blew up and nearly ra Goku and Vegeta kept keep fighting. And while Rad's in uh, and go rats and the uh, and the other other guys like Yamcha, Tien, Chiaotzu. 
Hang on, Yamcha Tian Chow Tzu it. Yamcha and yo. Others, Krillin, yeah. They uh they watch the fight and they're not dead because you know since they're really powerful. Master Roshi's still alive too since they still train. Plus, it proves the fact that no one will die. But after like you know. Rats was after like you know Goku and Vegeta kept fighting, fighting. Vegeta got real mad, and so Rats started going right, fighting to fight fighting Goku, and he can sense energy, so he can sense Goku's energy and Vegeta's energy. So he just tries. So after Vegeta gets real mad, he he goes up in the air, tries to destroy the Earth, but instead, uh, it, the Goku almost losing. Rats helps Goku after you know Vegeta tried destroying the plant, entire planet. And including that, both of them actually won't almost uh, defeat Vegeta if Vegeta was at full power soon after after I mean after you know Rats and Goku defeated like you know Vegeta. Yadrobe came in um, with the with this like flying car thing or whatever and gave. Uh, Rats and gave Goku a sensu bean and Rats a sensu bean as well because Rats used too much energy for that just from his double Sunday with Goku's Kamehameha. As Goku and Rats got the sensu bean, Vegeta comes back and gets mad. So after he, after since that Rats doesn't have his tail anymore, well I forgot to say because tail forget what's that. Anyways, after Rats got to realize that Vegeta was going to turn into a great ape, he told Goku and us can't go out to. Kakarot, get out of there! He's gonna turn into a great ape! And then Goku realizes that, so he tries to like stop the Chia and tries to cut off his tail, but he misses the chance, so he actually gets. Yandro Krillin's actually with Yandrobi as well, so after the whole, you know. So Krillin like waits till the Chia's a great ape, and then Krillin uses and Goku and Raditz and Go and all and Tien and Yandro all use Solar Flare on the Chia's eyes, and they cut off the Chia's tail. Which would involve him turning to it back to base, to his original form. So after the whole, you know, and this is almost the end of the Santa Saga. But after you know, Goku, after Goku and friends, like you know, defeated Vegeta, Raditz was going to kill Vegeta. But Goku said, "No, Raditz, stop! He's already defeated." Like he said with Piccolo. So after you know. Rats let him live, but Chia went back in the space pod, which involved, like, you know, that's the end of, like, part one. So, anyways, I just wanted to you know, get to the Santa Saga, because pretty much this is kind of like a short, fast video. I hope you enjoy, and I hope you like to tell me what other stuff there should would happen during the Frieza Saga. You all maybe, like, do parts or, you know, do other stuff like that. Like and subscribe to the video.